to give you guys a break from those long tutorials I'm just going to do a really quick one on walk cycles and how to transition those into run cycles so I'm gonna start off with my character here if you have moho 12 you already have this character ready to go and if not you can learn how to make this on one of my other tutorials uh, but I'll start off in frame one on the bone layer and I'm gonna hit Z and I'm just gonna position the legs to be apart uh, back leg is forward, forward leg is back. Going to going to do the opposite with the hands. So I'm going to put the uh, arm, forward arm, going forward, or front arm going forward and the back arm going back, like that. I'm going to hit Command A, Command F. That just freezes all of the bones and makes keyframes for every one of them. And then I'm going to go to frame 12. I'll hit Z and do the opposite. Move the back leg back, forward leg forward spread apart completely and do the opposite with the arms and then hit command A command F freeze the bones again to make uh, keyframes then I'm gonna select uh, the first keyframes I'm gonna hit command C move over the uh, to frame 24 and hit paste so we just have the same keyframes on frame 1 and, and frame 24, so we get this scissor motion. And then we'll go to frame 6. And since the front leg's going forward, we're going to go ahead and hit Z and grab the front leg and bend it. And then the back leg I'm going to make go straight down, so it's hitting the floor. And... I'll go ahead and put a little bit of a bend in the front arm. That's going to make it sway. And then I'll do the opposite on frame 18. I'm going to bend the green leg, or the back leg, and then make the front leg be straight down. And then put a little bend in the back arm. So now you can see when I cycle through it that we got a nice walking motion. So we'll go ahead and cycle that. I'll select all the frames on 24, right click, hit cycle to frame two. We're going to frame two because we don't want frame one and 24 to repeat so it doesn't stutter. So now we have that walk cycle. And for me personally, I like to create the motion of the body going up and down with the transform layer tool because I have target bones on my feet and it's a little harder to make the um, movement with that. So I'm going to go to frame one. I'm just going to click in the box and it's going to create a keyframe. And then on frame six, when the foot's down, I'm just going to hold shift down and left click and drag down just a little bit. So it looks like it's hitting uh, the ground. Now that I have an up and down motion, I can select uh, keyframe one and six in the transform layer or layer translation. Copy, Command C, go to frame 12, Command V to paste, and then I'm going to do that one more time. Go to 24 and paste again. And what that does is we just now have an up, down, up, down, up keyframe that moves our character up and down. So it looks a little bit more realistic when um, he's walking. So we'll cycle that as well. Right click on frame 24, cycle to 2, and now we have a walk cycle. Pretty easy. So now the only thing that you really need to do, uh, run, a run cycle is the exact same thing. I'm just going to go forward a little bit and let's find, okay. I'm going to go to this keyframe or this frame in the timeline. And I'm going to hit Command A and Command F, and that's going to basically stop this cycle. Um, and I'm also going to click in the uh, oops, transform layer and click in the box so it makes a keyframe there also. So everything just stops. So we're going to go right to here. 
and you can see when we're scrolling through the animation the back leg was coming forward at that time so we'll go to frame 120 and I'm just using a 120 because that's where our cycle going from 0 to 24 so we have these indicators on 48, 72, 96 so I'm just using this so it makes them a smoother transition so I'm going to go to 120 and since the back leg was going forward we're going to put it in an extreme run position now which is the same scissor like position like this on frame 1 but on frame 120 we're just going to exaggerate it so I'm just going to hit Z I'm going to have the uh, leg way up here maybe even bent out and up like that I'll put the back leg way back so it's bent like we're in the air and then do the opposite with the arms I'm going to bend them and I'm going to put the back one way back like this so it's kind of in a run position so we have that run position so I'll do the same thing we did for the beginning for the walk cycle hit command A command F create keyframes for all of those positions I'll go to frame 132 hit Z position the legs and arms in the opposite position so now the front legs gonna come forward and be bent like that back legs gonna be bent like this we'll move the arm back the front arm back and the back arm forward so we have that opposite position I'll hit Command A, Command F once again to create keyframes. And just like we did at the beginning, I'll select those first keyframes. Hit Command C to copy. Go to 144, Command V to paste. So we have that scissor motion again. But now it's much more extreme. And then we also we need to go in between the first keyframe and the second keyframe and the back leg is going to be coming down so we need to go to frame 126 hit Z and make sure we grab the back leg that's why I have my bones color uh, coded so I can see which leg I'm grabbing all the uh, back legs are green so let me see if I can't grab the, oh, I keep grabbing the wrong one okay there's the back one put that straight down and so it's hitting the floor and then we'll do the same on 138 for the front leg grab the purple one make that straight down so it's hitting the floor let's see how that looks okay now it looks like our characters running but we need to also make the up and down again and so I'm gonna go to the very first keyframe I'll go ahead to the uh, transform layer tool and I'll create a keyframe on that first one and then on 126 he's gonna hit the ground so he's gonna go down some so I'm holding shift dragging him down a little bit and just like the beginning I'll grab those two keyframes left click and drag over them command C copy go to 132 paste command V and then do it one more time on 144. Again, we don't need that last keyframe. So we'll get rid of that. I'll select it and hit delete. So then again, we have the up, down, up, down, up. And we'll just do the same thing that we did before. We'll grab these keyframes and right click and cycle. Now we're not gonna type in two. We need to make the uh, cycle relative uh, to where this run cycle is so click on relative and I'm just gonna click in this box here and I'm just using my mouse wheel and I'm just gonna scroll down until it pulls these arrows to where I need them to be so in this case we need it to be at 121 so we'll just keep scrolling until it's one frame past the beginning we don't want it on 120 again because we don't want this frame and this frame to uh, be next to each other it'll, it'll create a kind of stutter so put it there so it keeps recycling make sure we cycle the uh, transform layer keyframes also cycle 
relative to playback. Click in here, use my mouse wheel, and I'll pull that over also. And that's it. Uh, now um, we have a run cycle, but problem is the way that I've created it, it's spaced about the same as a walk cycle. So he's walking at first. It might be hard to see because it's, uh, I'll just play it in slow motion. I'll just drag through the time frame. So now you can see he's walking and he gets to running. But he's actually running in the, at the same pace. So in case you guys didn't know that you could do this, what you can actually do is drag over keyframes and hold down the option button. And then once you have the option button selected, you can left click and drag to extend or contract your keyframes. So by contracting them, it's just gonna make that cycle faster. So if I do that, and it's hard to see again in the uh, preview, but you can see now he's running really fast. So yeah, from there, all you have to do is do some little tweaking and you can have this pretty nice animation really fast. So I'll just go ahead and do that really quick. Um, let's start off. Oh, when the character's running also, so his body's pretty static. Um, if you do this, uh, run cycle or walk cycle in this way, you can go to the middle keyframe, which in this case is 129, and I'm just going to grab the torso bone. I'll hit Z and tilt it forward. And because we froze those keyframes, it's going to go back to its original position. So it's actually going to... He's going to lunge forward and back without you having to do anything else. Now he looks like he's really uh, trucking. So, and I can actually break that cycle for the torso. So if my character is running and then I want him to run really fast, I can go to uh, anywhere after the cycle and tilt it forward and it's going to stay that way. So. Now he looks like he's running super fast that way. I can tilt it back somewhere else. So really, really easy to uh, manipulate your character that way. Let me go ahead and do some facial animations just so you can get the feel for it. I'll go to frame one. And if you guys have seen my rigs before, I have the face in an entirely different bone uh, setup. So I'm just going to change this stuff real quick, have my character looking forward, have his eyes closed a little bit, just chilling for a walk. And then maybe, where's the run cycle? Okay, so he starts running right about there. So I'm going to come here. Now I'm going to do the same kind of technique. Command A, Command F. That's going to freeze all the face bones. And then I'm going to go forward a little bit, hit Z, and have his eyes open. Maybe he sees a bug on the ground or something. So I'll have him look down. And at this point, have his mouth change. So I'm going to click on my smart bone that I've made for the mouth. Have him go get surprised. And I have a blink set up. So it's really easy to do. And have him start running. So maybe he sees the bug, starts running. Let's have him blink again. change the eye position so he's looking back at whatever it is he started running from. Maybe change his mouth again. Maybe blink one more time. Have 
and look back even more. So in just a few minutes, I've made a walk cycle, a reaction, and run. Um, really, really pretty fast. Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you guys. A lot of people, like I said, have been asking about a run cycle, and it's basically the same thing. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below, and thanks for watching.